help them and we'll do some dueling and have some fun. So just real fast, Game House is an awesome, awesome group. We're totally dedicated to promoting esports, e games, e streaming, and we want to stream and bring games and content that you want to watch and care about. So hey, welcome back to stream. CSGO for the win, boy. I, I love doing that shout out, CSGO. Like you're probably like one of the most hilarious names we have here. So Evan's going to set up right now. I want to show you this crazy awesome deck. I've been playing the hell out of it. And it's just freaking dominant, man. I've been like, <laughs> I had to play it at work today. I was just getting so many kills. It's like a turn four win. That's how good it is. I, did, I was messing around with my other decks and just kind of deleted it. And I had a ton, a ton, a ton of crafting dust. Let me let me just back it up. And I wanted to build some decks, some modern decks. Some of my previous decks were kind of getting old, kind of crappy, kind of junky. And some of you guys at home are going to probably say, oh, man, that kind of deck. I know exactly what it is. You suck. I hate you. Blah, blah, blah. Well, it's an awesome deck. It's like the deck of the meta, one of the decks of the meta. And it gets people to legend, and it's just so much fun. Yes, CS Go for the win. Vaughn is playing later. So basically, this entire deck is about putting cheap little guys out and making weapons and making those weapons stronger. And beating the crap out of your opponent. Just going straight to the face. Doing minimal board control is necessary. But just going straight to the face and winning. You basically want to try to win before turn 7. Or turn 8 at the latest. Or you're pretty much screwed. So let me just show you. We have this guy. Uh, Nizas first mate. He's kind of a bread and butter unit. He's he's pretty freaking awesome. He's 1 mana. Or 1 gem. But he gives you a 1-3 hook. And you can basically attack your first turn immediately. And he's a pirate. So let me back this up. This deck also has a pirate theme. And you're going to see why in a minute. So we had this guy named Patches the Pirate. He's one of the new legends from the newest set. Uh, Means True to Gadgets in. And this guy is friggin' sweet. Uh, he's only one in the 1-1. One, one, and he has charge. But his ability says, after you play a pirate, that's any pirate, summon this minion from your deck. So you play this guy first turn, and you're already hitting for two with a rusty hook and patch of the pirate. Pretty damn cool, huh? It just begins. Then we have this guy called Small Time Buccaneer. He's a 1-2, but says he has plus two attack while you have a weapon equipped. So possibly, if you have a coin, you've already gotten a free uh, mana. But if you have Nazoth's uh, little rusty hook, this guy's already a 3-2 as soon as he hits the board. That's pretty boss. Next, we have South Sea Deckhand. He's a threat in and of itself. If you have a weapon equipped, it's going to be an instant two damage to wherever you need to put it at. Welcome back to stream, Dino to die. Yes, we're doing some Hearthstone. So South Sea Deckhand is pretty boss. What's kind of cool, too, is like if you're playing against a mage, he, he can be a nice target for them to fireball if you want. I usually don't mess with it too much, but he's a good target because he's a threat even in the first turn, and he had nothing else to help trigger his charge, but he's good. Ah... Uh, Okay. Um, then we have Upgrade. And this thing is freaking awesome in ability. If you don't have any weapons in hand, you put a 1-3. If you do, plus 1 durability. So you can basically, with Upgrade, make junky garbage items into something freaking sweet. So, it's it's pretty boss sauce, man. And this thing is bread and butter, too. Then we have our Blood Cell Raider. And even on turn 2, after you played the Nazoth dude... Having him 3-3 for 2 mana, that's freaking awesome. So you get hustling, hustling. Yeah, we we have an awesome giveaway coming up tonight. I th is that on Thursday or Monday? Thursday? Or oh, Wednesday? Yeah, the, the, the drawing's going to be picked CSGO on Wednesday. So this Blood Cell guy, he comes in. If you get some of the other weapons, you can make him super strong beater. And it's a huge threat. Brings me to max point. We've got Fiery War Axe, which is 2 mana. Or 3-2 weapon, that means you get three t two attacks with a 3 damage. If you upgrade it, man, you're going to make it a 4-3 or even better. You're going to make it super tough. Then, we've got something to help make this guy even stronger. We've got Heroic Strike. So if you need to jump in there real quickly, you can kill some little weak minions, control the board, or go a leash like the Fury, make your weapon do a shit ton of damage this one turn. Then, we've got our Blood Sail Cultist. Already you have a ton of pirates already on the board, hopefully. Says if you control another pirate, give your weapon plus one plus one. 
So meanwhile, you're making a rusty hook or whatever weapon get stronger and stronger. And rusted hook started off as a 1-3, now it's a 2-3, now it's a 3-3 or 3-4. Like, these, the thing gets bigger and bigger and better, man. It, it becomes a problem. Then we have the Frothing Berserker. This guy has a cream de la cream. One of the first guys ever had in this game. He's awesome. Dude, Basement Potato, what's up, man? Welcome back. The Frothing Berserker. This guy is so awesome. It's three mana. And whenever a minion takes damage, you gain plus one attack. Because you want to give this guy for a nice alpha strike, you can throw some of your weak stuff. Or you can kill off their good stuff with your weapons. But you can throw your weak stuff at their opponent. Whittle down some of their guys, control the board a little bit, and make this guy a big, tough cookie. And 3-4, 2-4 is pretty damn good, so not shabby. So let's, And then this guy, South Sea Pirate. 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. That's pretty good by itself, but it gives you pirates plus 1, plus 1. You already have a ton of pirates, and you're already smashing, smashing, smashing. Face potato, man. What's up, man? So let's get to the next one. Dread Corsair, top. Costs 1 less per attack your weapon. He played... A weapon on your first turn, got the little rusty hook. This guy's going to be for three mana. If you already have your uh, lava axe, it's going to be a one mana. And if you had the Arcanine Reaper, which I'll show you next, this guy's free, which is awesome. Then we have our Cochrane Alight. He's always been a boss sauce since the game came out. Uh, four mana for four, three charge. It's usually a four damage right to the face, man. It's nice. It's what you need sometimes where it can kill a pesky wall so you can get your guys through. Then Mortal Strike. This is my own preference. Uh, the other deck that I had kind of bases off of had uh, a, a different card in here. It's a 1-1 card that gives you a different hero power, which is probably better. But this hero Rogue Strike has been that little 4 damage to either wipe out a wall or last minute the game, been that extra 6 damage to win the game. So I like that a lot. And I'm probably going to keep it for now. The other card is this freaking sweet card. It's 5-4. It's 4 mana. That's a really good, good investment for the mana. It also has battle cry, give a weapon plus one attack. So your your weapon on turn four just got a little bit more scarier. Uh, and the massive beatdown thing, especially especially if you have the upgrade. This thing's a five three. It does ridiculous amount of damage or five damage. You can attack for twice. What's up? What's up, Zeminitez? Boom. Yeah, actually, Zeminitez actually beat the Archangel uh, this afternoon. Actually, it was a lot. Actually, I had a really easy way to beat him, actually, incredibly. I was going to stream him, but we want to try this up. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back, my potato. Boom. So I want to show you this deck while we have our friend Evan jumping in. And so for the... Oh, can I just show the deck real fast? Or do you want me to hold off? Do you want me to own? Do you want me to own Evan? I'm here. Yeah, you probably will. I mean, I would be okay, it looks like Evan's going to join us in a second, guys. I'm here. So. Yeah, man, this is like an easy, easy deck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win my first battle. I'm gonna uh, yeah, so let me, you guys want to see the pirate deck in action? I'll show, I'll show you it to you, man. I know you want to see that pirate deck in action. I know you want to see that pirate deck in action. We're getting some standard. We're going to cr cruise it up. Sup, Geeky House? Welcome back to the stream! Yeah, boy! Oh, I, I don't know why the Revelbot's still promoting the swag. Uh, we, we gave that out already on Wednesday, but maybe Revelbot's not too smart, you know? It's all good. Mm. Boom. I'm going to show you how ridiculous this deck is. <clears throat> it just crushes people. There's a couple decks that can beat it. But there's a bunch of decks that really are pure luck based. So you have a total awesome opportunity of like totally basically beating the other guy on simple coin flip, which is pretty cool. It's kind of kind of lame, but you know what? Who cares? It's fun. That's what this game's all about, man. This Hearthstone is one of these kind of games. Like if you ever played Magic the Gathering before, it's it's a fun game. Magic the Gathering is a very cool game. It's very skill intensive. And, you know, there is some luck involved, but it's more skill than luck. In Hearthstone, there's a lot of skill involved, but there's also a lot of, well, not a lot of luck. It's mostly all luck. It's uh, so much random, random factors. It's, it's a lot of fun. And the fact that you can play so perfect, and then all of a sudden something so goofy just happens out of nowhere. Like, you know, a guy just casts a fireball because he pulls it off his cast a spell minion or whatever random stupid crap. 
but it's goofy and it's a lot of fun that way. <clears throat> we go. I'm gonna play my my little pirate. I can't charge, but it doesn't matter. I play my pirate so I can get this guy out and go boom. Ah, look at that boomer right in the face. That's what it's all about, man. Just boom right in the face. Not in, in the face, on the face. Ow! Look at that. Uh, I think this guy's lagging. I think he's gonna end up giving up because he he knows he saw that I had a pirate deck. I've had this happen happen to me before, where someone ha sees me play the pirate deck and they just quit. They get so mad. Sup, eBay? I know eBay is suspecting, but it's all good. It's all good. Uh oh, look at this guy. He didn't even do nothing, man. What a what a loser. I'm just gonna smack him in the face with this time, man. Boom. Crunch. Normally, uh, people usually don't attack with a weapon right away if there's nothing on the board. People usually use these weapons for clearing the board. But I have this uh, pretty boss sauce pirate just hanging here. Gives uh, my weapon plus one plus one, so I'm not too scared. Plus, I mean, I can. Once I cast this spell, I'm gonna cast this guy for free so I can have some blocking, some defense. We're going to see what this guy's going to cast here. He might be playing up. Oh, Fan of Knives. Cool. Just killing my dudes. It's all good. I made him waste his card. made him waste his coin. And he only got one card in that, which is pretty freaking cool for me, man. Oh, this son of a gun. Okay, he got. He was smart. He, he played smart. He played cool. Played cool, bro. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm going to just chill here for a second. I'm going to get some armor. I'm going to see if he does anything funny. I'm going to try to see if I can bait him out a little bit. It's like, do you want to stream Clash Royale? Dude, Drunken Fish, man. Hey, what's up, Jimenez? Real deal. Jimenez. I'm bad. Welcome back, man. Yo, Drunken Fish, man. Uh, just so you guys know, in Clash Royale, I'm going to be leaving the Game House Clan and, and creating the Game House 2 Clan. That's going to be our runoff from the Game House Clan because we have some people. And we've got Bendover, we've got Max Beast, and we also have Drunken Fish joining me. I think what they're all, I, I don't even know. You guys tell me. And uh, they're going to be running the clan with me, which is pretty boss sauce. So, looking forward to that, guys. It's going to be cool. Totally cool. It's going to be totally cool, bro. Totally cool. Totally cool. Here we go. Look at that. Boom. Oh, look at that. Just crunching time, baby. Crunching time. So, that's what I'm, I'm crunching these guys down, man. I'm not basement. I'm not leaving you, man. I'm I'm actually been uh, asked to start up. I don't want to leave, man. I didn't want to leave at all. I had no choice. Look at that man killing the wrong guys, man. What a, what a noob. I mean, I I guess I'm guess I'm glad you're attacking those dudes, but really didn't matter. Cause I'm just going to just do this. Leroy Jenkins. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, Drunken Fish. I, I don't know how to slip and all either. That's why I have to go join there. Because my device only lets me have one count. Yeah. No, no, Kenji Joe. Um, we're creating a second game house clan. That will be basically like the runoff from the main clan. We've got some more plans on the road that we may do with that particular clan. But for now, we're just going to have a runoff clan. And I'm going to head it up. And we're going to need some people who uh, are our mains. No, nothing bad, Kenji. Nothing bad. Nothing bad, Kenji. But we basically have so many people that want to join our clan constantly. Constantly. And, like, people want to play in their drafts and stuff. So we're trying to, like, you know, have a little extra clan so that we can have people still be part of it, get the Twitch streams. And we're looking for some people uh, We're looking for some people who have alts and whatnot who want to uh, stream with us. It would be tight. Oh, Eviscerate, my gosh. Killing my dudes, man. Ooh, I don't really I mean it didn't matter that the guy did that. I'm glad he did that. Look at that. Ugh, it's just a matter of time, man. He just he has to get a taunt character or blow up my weapon. But it won't even matter anyway, so pfft. Look at that. Look, I'm just gonna cast a pirate just to see if he's gonna waste his items. Look at this. Yeah, Kenji Joe, you're always an OG man. I didn't even want to lead the guild, but I I don't really I'm not saying I don't play enough, man. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, basement potato. I'm gonna make a, an alt on my. Uh, what I may end up doing is this. Look at that. This guy just gave up, man. He was like, <laughs> boo. -hoo -hoo -hoo. What I may do, actually, basement. I'm gonna make one.